We got we got more puzzles. Oh, here's one. It seems we are faced with another puzzle lock, Luke. <laughs> oh, I meant to ask you, but our running with the explorer distracted me. How did Simon, you know? All in good time, boy. First, we need to solve this puzzle here. It looks to be quite the challenge. <laughs> he's been more or less bland this entire playthrough, but now he's he's all about the puzzles. Princess in a box, number one. Uh, this is puzzle number 97. It's worth 60 picarets. Oh, sweet lord. Oh, sweet lord. Tired of leading a sheltered life, this princess is trying to escape her castle. Armed guards, however, are blocking her path. Slide the blocks out of the way to move the red one to the exit on the right. Her freedom depends on you. Can you do it? Sure. Just don't rely on me uh, doing this in the minimum amount of moves. Because I, for one, cannot be bothered by the minimum amount of anything anymore ever for the rest of my life forever. Let's move this one here. You down there. Let's see. Let's move that. We can slide you up. Slide this to the right. Down. A ball puzzle without a ball. Yeah. I actually, I like block puzzles. I like block puzzles. They're, they're typically the same thing. The catch is, uh, the catch is you're moving blocks instead of, instead of balls. Let's see. There we go. Now we can move these out the way. Uh, how about this? I haven't I haven't done anything but waste time. There we go. Let's put it like that. Oh no! Come on. Let's see. I need to get this piece down here too at the same time. It's a little bit better. It's a little bit better because now we can move these here. Move this up. Slide these back. And then progressing, progressively move these down. There we go. Oh, almost. Almost. Let's move these up. I need to get this piece to the back. Damn it. I should have moved this one at least before this set. Okay. There we go. So now let's move this one. And then we can do this. There we go. Oh, almost there. Oh. Sweet Lord, I'm the biggest. I'm the biggest clown. There we go. Dunzo. Is it? There we go. That should do it. Dunzo. Critical thinking is the key to success. Shut up, Layton. A classic example of a sliding puzzle. Dope. There we are. The door should open now. Amazing as always, Professor. Now about Simon. What exactly happened in the mansion? Did Don Paolo really mur um, make off with Simon? I'd say so. Uh, this is just my theory, mind you. But I think that Don Paolo followed us into the manor. That's when he met Simon, or came across him as the case may be. I suspect Simon had already collapsed when Don Paolo found his body sprawled on the floor. Just like with Ramon. So maybe Simon had also stopped malfunctioning properly, huh? I guess all the robots break down sooner or later, but when they do, Bruno comes to collect them. Then he fixes them here in the basement of the tower. Oh, do you suppose the noises from the tower are actually the sounds of Bruno's machines working? I think you're spot on, Luke. 
That must be why people began to associate the disappearances with the, with the roaring from the tower. Don't forget that despite his peculiar appearance, Don Paolo is a scientific genius. Therefore, he probably realized why Simon had stopped moving. If it weren't for the golden apple, Don Paolo likely would have left St. Mysterio right then. I'm sure he was eager to take the robot apart and learn how it worked. And that must be when he decided to disguise himself as Inspector Chelmy, right? That rat made up the whole murder story on the spot. But that's not the whole mystery. Come Luke, we must keep moving. I'll explain the rest as we go. There we go. The first puzzle of the tower was the easiest. <laughs> yes, we got three left. The golden apple, the noise, and Lady Dahlia. Let's keep moving. We got this. Uh, are we going this way as opposed to back down the stairs? Hey, it's Lady... Is this Lady Riddleton or is this Martha? If it's Martha, we gotta act like we don't know her name. It's Martha. We don't know her name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First, you meeting you here, dearie. Would you like to try a little puzzle I made up? H how on earth did she get up here? Hmm. She must have overtaken us at some point. Funny, I didn't even see the old girl pass us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quit whispering amongst yourselves and try out my puzzle already. It's a humdinger. All right, here we go. Puzzle number 98, card order. It's worth 70 picarets. Here we go. <sighs> You've placed one joker and four aces with different suits face down on a table. Use the hints below to determine the position for each card. This is actually my favorite type of puzzle. These are logic puzzles. These are... 100% logic puzzles. It'll tell you something and you have to use the clues to figure out what is true. <clears throat> They're all true, but you have to figure out the scenario, I should say. The club is to the immediate right of the heart. So let's see. I'm going to take some notes real quick. These notes are basically going to be what can't be in certain positions. So we have spade, heart, club, diamond, and joker. Let's see. Uh... Shoot, I'm out of space. It'll be all right. Uh, spade, heart, club, diamond, and joker. All right. The club is to the immediate right of the heart. So that means the club can't be the far left card. And the heart can't be the far right card. Otherwise, that scenario is impossible. Neither the diamond nor the joker are next to the spade. Neither the diamond nor the joker are next to the spade. Give me a second. Okay. That doesn't tell us anything yet. We got to combine that with something else. Neither the joker nor the diamond are next to the club. So the diamond and the joker aren't by the club or the spade. So it has to be. Let's see. Was that diamond and joker? Let me see. Let me write that out. Just a second. Okay. So it has... If, if it's that the Joker and the Diamond aren't by either the Spade or the Club, then it has to be the Heart. That's the only one that's left. Diamond, Joker, Club, Spade, Heart. Right. So it has to either be Joker, Diamond, Heart. I'm sorry. Joker, Heart, Diamond. Or Diamond Heart Joker. There's no other way that can be. Sorry. Did I read that wrong? Yeah, I read that wrong. Never mind. Ignore that. Ignore that. N yeah, ignore that. Neither the diamond nor the spade is next to the heart. This one's actually a little bit easier. We can just put the pieces where they need to... We can put them down the same way we did the puzzle with one through nine. We can put them down and just move them as needed. Okay. So the club is to the immediate right of the heart. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the club down and we'll put the heart immediately by it. The heart has to be to the left, uh, immediately to the left of the joker, uh, uh, the club. Jesus Christ. Okay. So neither the diamond nor the joker are next to the spade. So if if it's like this, the spade would have to be here. 
because all that's left is the diamond and the Joker. The spade can't be here or here because it'll have to be next to one of these two. So with what we've tried so far, this is true. Um, it's also true that neither the diamond or the Joker are next to the club. So far, that's true. We'll put these two down and they have to be here, which is not by the spade of the club. Neither the diamond nor the spade are next to the heart. So that means the diamond can't be here. It could be here. We can't move this here because then the Joker would be next to the spade. And the same would be true with the diamond being here. Neither the diamond is next to the heart. Oh, and that's true with the diamond being. I'm sorry, that's false with the diamond being next to the heart. Let's try this. The club is to the immediate right of the heart. The club is to the immediate right of the heart. Neither the diamond nor the joker are next to the spade. Mm -hmm. Neither the joker or the diamond are next to the club. Neither the diamond nor the spade are next to the heart. Is this the only way this could be done? I think this might be the only way they can be arranged. There we go. Every puzzle has an answer. Got it. Only a strong grasp of the principles of logic can get you through a puzzle like this. These are my those are my favorite types of logic puzzles. As much as I do Sudoku and Pie Cross, I love those puzzles the most. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yes. That's the answer, all right. Well then, I guess I'll be off. Come visit me sometime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She must be the the asshole that gave us the the aces in the Joker puzzle. I guess she followed us in here. Card order. Moving on. I can't believe we're not at the top yet. We're so close though. There's another puzzle. Just like I thought, there's another puzzle locking this door. It looks really difficult, Professor. Luke, my boy, haven't you learned by now? No puzzle is without an answer. Now we simply need to find that answer. Here, allow me. I mean, this is going to be hard. Puzzle number 99, 33333, three, 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 is worth 70 pickerettes. Uh, Use each number, each of the numbers... One through nine, exactly once to fill in the blanks and complete this equation. Oh, this is going to be good. Okay. So, obviously, uh, when you do math and you do subtraction, you start from the right side. So, whatever number we put here, this number needs to be three more. Whatever we put, whatever number, we, not exactly. We could do some regrouping. That's going to be tricky. Uh, whatever number we put here, when we add three, the number in the ones place for that number needs to be here. So, for example, this could be 8, and then this would be 1. We'll play around with it a little bit. This one might be the one we use hints on. Let's see. Let's start with 5 and 8. Let's just start there. Then that would mean... Let's see. Okay, hang on. Pause. Pause. Let's. Typically, that would be the first place to start. But because we know we're not taking anything here, this number is most likely 3, but it can also be 4. It can also be four because, it, like I said, if we need to regroup here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reserve three here. If we need four, we'll put four. But I'm going to reserve this being a three. Now we can go here. Let's do eight and five just to be safe. Uh, let's not do four. Let's do nine and six. I just said let's not do four. We don't have a choice. Let's do four and one. Seven and two obviously doesn't work. Seven and two doesn't work. So let's see. Let's see how we gonna do this one. How we gonna do this one? What can we do with two for regrouping? That would be what nine. Let's do that. So then we take one from here. This would actually be four. So let's change that. What if we do eight? That'd be seven. That's now numbers work. Chill. Try again. Try again. How about we do five? If we're regrouping, this needs to be a nine. How about we take these numbers back? 
This would be seven. And this would be four. And then that works. Not with these numbers. Something's wrong here. I put something that I've already put down here is wrong. What if this is seven and this is one? Because then that's ten and now we're regrouping from here. Or zero. And now we're regrouping from here. We're borrowing a number. So then what we can do is eight and four here. This is seven. This is actually a seven as we subtract. Let's see. What if we don't regroup here? What if instead we do five and two? Now we got it. Now we got it. Is that it? <laughs> is that it? Let's see. Let's subtract. Uh, five minus two is three. One minus seven we can't do, so we borrow a number from eight. This would actually be a seven. This is a seven here. Oh no, that's not right. Oh wait, no, we didn't regroup. If we don't regroup here, that throws this off. If we don't regroup here, that throws this off. This needs to be a zero, or this number needs to increase. So let's do that. One minus eight we can't do. So we'll borrow one here. This is six now. And this is 11. 11 minus 8 is 3. That works. 6 minus 4 doesn't work. Remember, we borrowed one. So this is really 6 minus 4. What if it's like this? Because now we have 6 minus 3 equals 3. That's fine. But then the problem is here. We need to borrow. The easiest way is if we borrow and take one away from here. We don't have anywhere to, any way to do that. Everything so far checks out. Everything but this four checks out. Is there a way to make this borrow? What if we put this on the end? If we put this on this end, then we don't have to worry because the seven needed to borrow. Didn't it? No, it didn't. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to move these all down. Everything's moving down. And now, if we move this one here, the one is borrowing from the four. This seven doesn't work, though. This seven doesn't work now. So now all of this works. But now the seven and three doesn't work. We need to get this lower. We can't because it's, you can't borrow. No, it doesn't work. That's two now. This this needs to be. How about if we do this? That still doesn't work. Now you're monking things up, chill. You're monking things up. Let's see. All right, how about we switch these two now? This is fine. Now we need we need to we need that six down. Let me see. This is hard. This one is hard. Let's see. a way for this one to borrow for this row to borrow from this or this column to borrow from this column otherwise this doesn't add up either actually no we don't need this one to borrow we need this one to be on point whatever's after the one and eight needs to be right it needs to not need to borrow so let's do that let's switch to these two this is fine this four needs to be here Let's 
What's something that we can borrow from? Because now this isn't right. Now this would be a two here. Damn it. Let me write this one down. I'm, I'm about to move stuff around. 31975 minus 8642. All right, I'm going to move stuff around real quick. I want 8 to be with the 5. I want 8 to be with the 5. 9 can be with, or 2 can be with the 9. That 2 needs to borrow. So, how about we do that? Now I have the 1 and the 6, and that doesn't work. This is fine. This isn't. Let's put that. Ooh, let's put that. Let's put that there. Is that it? No, that's not right. There we go. Is that it? Eight minus five is three. Six minus three is three. Two minus nine. Can't do it. We're going to borrow. So this becomes a zero. This is 12. 12 minus nine is three. This is a zero. Zero minus seven, got it. Zero minus seven, can't do. Four is gonna borrow. Uh, it's gonna borrow one from the four, so that four is now a three. This is a one already. Ten minus seven is three. Perfect. That should do it. Moving right along. Moving right Another along. Puzzle solved. Are we at the top of the tower yet? There are two po correct configurations. That's interesting. I want to find that other one. We're not doing that today, but I want to find that other one. This video was part of a stream. If you want to catch our streams live, make sure you subscribe to AltPlay as well as turn on notifications and follow at the AltPlay on Twitter. That way you can stay up to date on all changes.